everybody back again with another video hope you're doing well hope your life's going well hope this week has gone well for you and I hope that today has gone well for you today is Monday March 11 2024 it is about 6 26 p.m. Central Standard Time uh, I just got home from work here um, it's a pretty easy day nothing too crazy um, um, pretty uh, high volume of deliveries but it's okay um, I hope you enjoyed your Monday though. I mean, I know it was Monday. You have to go back to work and everything, but it's okay because, hey, when you go to work, you make money. And if you play your cards right, after you pay your bills, you should have some money left over. And so, just always be thankful to have an opportunity. I know. Sometimes it's hard. I know it's hard having a job. I know it's hard, even if you're self-employed, just having to always work and be on the grind, you know, working all the time, you know, to make ends meet. But look, just be thankful you have an opportunity because sometimes, you know, we have to understand that not everybody has the same opportunity as you. Let's say you're somebody that makes $25 an hour. There's somebody that's making a lot less than you. And so you need to be thankful and fortunate that, hey, you had that opportunity in the first place. I know it's hard, but some people, they work 40 hours a week and struggle. And a lot of people are struggling. So if you're somebody that feels like, hey, I'm okay financially, even though I don't like my job, be thankful. Be thankful because not everybody has it like that. Um, I'm just always thankful for what I have. Um, thankful for each and every day, uh, you know, I'm able to come on here and talk with you all. And, you know, but anyway, let's talk about the real heroes in society. Who are the real heroes in society? I would say the working man, the working woman, these are the real heroes in society. Without the working man and working woman, there would be pretty much no society as we know it. We have to realize that we're the ones that keep the society going. We're the ones that keep the money flowing in. For the huge corporations we're the ones we're the backbone of society we're the backbone of these huge corporations and even the corporations they'll literally tell you hey you know we're thankful you know you all that work here we're the backbone of how the corporation stays functioning and stays bringing in profits um, and if you're self-employed too um, you're more than likely offering a product or service that's helping society too. And so you also are the true, I mean, the, the true hero in society. Um, I think we don't get enough credit. Us working men, us working, or working men and working women. I, I don't think we get enough credit. And I think that society we have we we are so focused on the outliers you know your rich people super rich people that have tons of money um uh, or your super well we do need a we we should uh, care about the homeless but when it comes to outliers on the rich side these are the people that are promoted heavily by the media. These are the people that are promoted heavily by social media as well. And I think they get a lot more credit than they deserve. And we get a lot less credit than we deserve. I think that we should pat ourselves on the back and give ourselves a shout out. That's why I say sometimes treat yourself. Go on vacation. Take time off. You know, treat yourself. Buy something you've always wanted. You know, I'm not saying splurge. 
and go broke, but you know, treat yourself every once in a while. You deserve it. You work hard, you take care of your family, you do what you need to do in society. You know, you're you're a working man, you're a working woman, you have a family to take care of, you you, you keep the bills paid, you know, you make sure uh, there's food on the table for the kids. You're the true hero in society. But you don't realize it because media tells us that the coolest people in society are your rich people, rich and famous people that have millions of dollars, billions of dollars, that own a bunch of businesses and all that. Those aren't the true heroes. The true heroes is just your average Joe, you know. They're the ones that are truly running this society. Because without the average working person, there would be no huge businesses. There wouldn't be a society as we know it. And so we we have to just realize this. I think we don't realize this. And if you're somebody that's watching this, you just worked an eight hour shift. You just worked a 10 hour shift. You just worked a 12 hour shift. I want you to know. I want you to know that you matter. You are important in society. You are somebody that is valued. You know, that's why I don't like when people say like, oh, see, I don't like when people job shame. I don't like when people like, oh, you're just a fast food worker. You're just a cashier. Like job shaming really like gets under my skin because that is a hard working person. A person shot st stocking shelves at Walmart, that is a hard working person, you know. Cashier, I've done that job. That job can be stressful sometimes. Obviously, it doesn't require a lot of skill, but that doesn't mean it's not hard work. That doesn't mean it you know, it's not stressful dealing with different customers and different personalities all day. You know, people complaining to you all the time about this price, that price, this, that, and the other. That's what cashiers go through. You know, you know, and then a cashier at a fast food restaurant, they have it even worse. You know, they're going to deal with people complaining about their order being wrong and people being angry over the wait time. Trust me, I know how it is. You know, that's why I don't job shame. I'm not somebody that's like, oh, you're just a cashier. You're just this or you're just that. No, you matter. That McDonald's cashier, you matter. You hear me? The McDonald's cashier matters. I, I just think that we don't, we don't, um, we, we don't, we don't value people in this society enough in general. If you're a person, you're a working man and working woman, you matter. The stress you go through in your job, you know, the, the mental stress, the physical toll that these physical jobs take on your body, I mean, you matter. You know, and so I, I just think it's ridiculous when people... You know, because I've seen those viral videos where you'll have some person recording like a cashier or something where the cashier like messes up or something like messes up their um, order or messes up whatever, whatever customer facing position it is. They'll make a mistake and people, the first thing people want to do out is pull their phones out and record them. And then post it online. I mean, how how messed up of a spirit do you have to want to see somebody get shamed online for making a mistake in their job? You know, a lot of these customer service facing positions don't hardly pay that much and they deal with a lot of stress. And you have people that are willing to do that. I mean, it's just absolutely ridiculous when I see that. 
and it's so crazy it's always like the person recording thinks they're right because they're recording but they're making themselves look silly no that person that person in that customer facing position matters you know that person has a life that person may or may not have a family that they go home to every night and they're working that job because they can't find anything better and that's why I, I just want to make this video to let you know that you matter see we don't we don't we don't really talk about this very much all we want to do is talk about celebrity gossip cat williams uh shannon sharp who cares about these people it doesn't matter what they're doing they're not doing anything that's gonna help you feed your family is cat williams gonna pay your bills no is shannon sharp gonna pay your bills no these celebrities are not going to do it. They don't matter. The people that matter are the people that are around you. The, your family, your friends, loved ones. Um, you know. Those are the people that matter. And I think we, we've just lost that. And I think that comes... We, we've lost that because it comes from... TV being told that these people are important no you are important no you are the one that puts food on the table for your family you know you're working that 12 hour shift if you're a nurse whew, man I know that's a tough job I know that's a tough job let me tell you if you're a nurse you matter you know you're if you're an EMT you matter you know what I mean? You're if you're somebody. Okay, there's a train coming. Hold up. You know, if you're a dentist, you matter. If you're a uh, truck driver, you matter. If you're a welder, you matter. You're important. You're special. You're a hero. And don't let anybody tell you otherwise. Y'all understand what I'm saying. If you work an important job in society, you matter. And I, I guess I just, I get tired of like, just seeing the, just, just seeing in society how undervalued the average Joe is in society. You know, the average Joe the hard working man, the hard working woman. You are a special. You're special because you keep society going. And I just want you to know that. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring this video to a close. Like I said, I had just got home from work and this was something that I don't even know why, but I was just thinking about it like on the way home and I just decided, you know what, let me turn the camera on and, and, you know, just express how I feel about this situation. Um, because I just don't see where the average Joe, the average person in society that does the right thing you know, take care of his or her responsibility. I don't see where that person is valued. I don't understand why they're not valued enough. Why not? Like, we act like we're supposed to worship rich people, rich celebrities, famous celebrities, people who have millions of followers on Twitter and Instagram. Who cares about these silly numbers on these online platforms. I mean, is that real? I mean, really think about it. Does that mean they're that much more relevant in society than you? They're just a human being just like you. Doesn't mean anything in the long run. Just know that. You know, we think because somebody has more that they're 
that automatically equates them into that automatically means that they're a better person because they have more followers they have more money people more people know them that makes them better they're not better they're a human being just like you you can look them in the eye just like you can look anybody else in the eye they're not to be worshipped and not to be idolized they're a human being you are special you average working man average working woman you are special and there's absolutely nothing wrong with being average we always want to be the very best we always want to be the the top person the outlier you know it's kind of like how the rat race is in a way everybody's trying to be the best everybody's trying to make the most there's nothing wrong with being average absolutely nothing wrong don't let anybody brainwash you don't let anybody on this platform try to brainwash you into thinking that oh if you're average you're just average you're you're not this you're not that no it's nothing wrong with that actually the people the average earners in society we're the ones that keep the society going remember that i need you to remember that but anyway, like I said, I was going to bring this video to a close. I really hope that you enjoyed this video and you found some value out of it. And most importantly, you were relaxed. Thanks for watching. Have a great Monday evening. And I'll probably make a video for Tuesday as well. So stay tuned for that. Thanks.